Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a totally different location than anything you've ever seen before. And that is because I am in the process of moving. Today we will be reviewing May's Otaku Box, but before I get started, I just want to highlight um, a little bit of the craziness that has happened this month. So this month's a bit crazy. I know the month is about half over and I haven't released a review yet, um, but I have had quite a few busy weekends including flying out to LA, um, super last minute on notice, and finally getting to go to a concert that I had been planning for over a year. Um, and it all ended up being back to back on top of starting to move and wrapping up my summer classes. That being said, um, I do have quite a backlog of videos to edit for you guys, one of which will be a very cool Otaku Box related announcement that I am super super excited to share with you guys so without further ado let's talk about otaku box first of all i want to say um i don't know where my actual scissors are so i'm going to be using my thread scissors which are pretty much itty bitty child scissors so you know we'll see it's super strong I'm actually gonna lean back a little bit because I feel like I'm hunching over so that way I fit in the camera frame. <clears throat> That's better. So let's talk about Otaku Box. Otaku Box is a monthly anime subscription box in which you get one wall scroll, one figure, and one t-shirt every single month as well as an exclusive pin to um, Otaku Box itself. Additionally, uh, I have reviewed these boxes in the past, and you can see them on my channel if you want to see more than one month before deciding to make a decision. So they actually came out with Otaku Box Mini, which is, I think, retail $25. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong right here. Um, and in that, uh, it is smaller, so you don't get quite as many items as you do in here. But a Taco Box Mini is a fantastic way to go if the big box is slightly outside your budget, but you still want monthly anime fun. Uh, out of a subscription box. So I highly suggest it. And if you are interested in Otaku Box or Otaku Box Mini, uh, you can use my coupon code, which I'll flash here. It should be the same exact code that you've been using before, but now it will give you a discount on whichever box you choose to go with. So that'll be super cool and super fun. Hello guys, so I wanted to show you the Otaku Box website real fast. I realize it's something we haven't done before. And on here they have a bunch of cool features such as the countdown clock for the current box as well as what comes in the SG settings as well as your place to vote which waifu you would like to see in the upcoming box which is a unique feature to this subscription box compared to many others that I've seen where you actually get to be somewhat hands-on with what you get. Um, there's also a section down here where you can see other cosplayers and fan reviews of the product which is really cool that they post them on their website, including myself right there. So that's a really cool feature as well if you're looking for more reviews before settling on buying the product. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and look at the checkout feature. So once you get in here, you can choose what you want and don't want to be the figure, the edgy, and the t-shirt. Now your choices here will determine whether or not you get the $25 mini or the full price Otaku box and then additionally, this is where you can enter in your coupon code and get that sweet, sweet $10 off your first two boxes for Otaku Box. So without further ado, uh, let's peek into the May box. I'm super excited. Uh, hopefully I haven't left anything out. So here is the sneak preview. And the wall scroll is on top. So let's look. I <sighs> saw the votes. And I don't know who won, but I really hope that this is Ralph Talia because she is my waifu. And oh, it is. And oh, I have the, um, I need a minute for my waifu. Whew, okay. Um, whew, this is the etchy box this month, so I might have to censor this. Ralph Talia is awesome. I do like that they have returned to the silk wall scrolls. Like I said before, I feel like they just lay better and overall um, look better. Uh, as wall scrolls instead of having the kind of coarse texture of the ones that they've had in the past So I definitely love seeing these silk wall scrolls making a comeback in these boxes And I will definitely be hanging this one because ooh, Raftali is a cute babe uh, I'm trying to 
trying to figure out what's open next. Let's open this. Um, this is the mini plush, which, uh, like I said before, um, are going to be a staple item in the upcoming mini boxes, which I think are out now, but I'm not sure if they fully launched them. Um, so this is Deku from uh, My Hero Academia. And let's just go ahead and throw down my, I still haven't seen My Hero Academia counter uh, down below because I still haven't, but I'm learning from these boxes, the different characters. So this is Deku and it's a really cute plush and he has a little keychain up here. And yeah, I think if, uh, if you collect plushes, this would look good on a super cute like bag or something. Uh, I personally don't have many of these um, but I see my friends have a lot of them, so this is definitely a cute anime staple, um, to have in your collection. Hey! Cut it out. Sorry. Uh, no, this would look super cute as an accessory on a bag or hanging on your wall or wherever else you keep your anime plushes, but it's a pretty high quality little plush. It even has his freckles, and honestly, I think it's really cute. I love Raptalia. I'm so happy she won! Uh, so next we have this, which is a sweatband. Um, and this is a high school DXD sweatband. And actually, uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, I think this was an item in one of my very first otaku boxes. I want to say December or November. So it's interesting to see it come back. But nonetheless, this is a really thick, really stretchy, um, really nice sweatband with a... Um, embroidered on High School DxD logo, and it's really nice, and uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have one for each arm now, so I'm not really going to complain. I'm avoiding the figure so much because I've been doing them last, but it's really hard because this figure is rather large and taking up a lot of space in this box. So let's go with the pin, and as I said before, this is the etchy box, so I'm just going to kind of flash it like that. Um, even that I might have to censor, so when I go through and do the over, uh, the over clips. Focus, please. When I go through and put the close-ups in, um, they're all gonna be censored. So, I don't know who this is, I'm gonna look it up. Irina Shido, okay, so she's from High School DxD. Uh, I don't really remember which girl she is, it's been a while since I watched the show. Uh, I don't think she's the nun, I think she's just one of the succubi. Um, but it's her in a cute little sweater with her boobies out. Um, and as uh, the months pass, this is a standard size pin with a nice solid pin backing and they look really good kind of all on a backpack or on a pin board because they are all a standard size month to month, so it looks really good together. Next, let's look at the t-shirt. So the t-shirt is typically the same as the wall scroll, but I'm a little bit scared because I'm not sure if it's going to be an edgy t-shirt, which would be fun. Um, but I'm curious to see uh, because I was not ready for this to be an edgy box, but I am pleasantly surprised with the amount of um, opi. <laughs> there has been a lot of anime titty, so I really cannot complain. Okay, so it is another one of the really nice screen printed shirts. Uh, the sizing still looks rather large. I'll try it on later, but again, I am going to gripe about this every single video. I know it probably gets droning, but in case you're a new viewer uh, looking for this box, I do want to let you know, um, I think that these shirts fit larger than a standard um, unisex small. Uh, so if you are like me and a rather small lady, uh, it might be big on you. But here is the small, and it is Raftalia, and it is not lewd, so it is pretty much the same as the wall scroll, but with clothing on, and she's absolutely precious, and I love this waifu. But no, the shirts are very high quality, they breathe really nice. Uh, I mostly wear them to sleep in because they are all baggy on me, but nonetheless, um, they're super comfy, and I have not had any problems washing them with the designs coming off or anything, which is really nice, because a lot of times graphic tees will crack. So I really like these shirts. Um, my only gripe, again, is the sizing because uh, I'm a small, small person. Okay, okay, this might be my favorite otaku box, actually. This might be my favorite otaku box. Between having uh, Raptalia and then um, this, which is Sinon, and I think it's a sticker. Yeah, okay, so this is a Sora Online die-cut sticker. 
um, and it's Sinon in a cute little, um, wow, English. It's Sinon in a cute little uh, cheerleading outfit, uh, and I will do a close-up on this as I talk, um, and it's really cute. It looks a lot like um, one of the uniforms from Memory Defrag, which is a mobile game that I play quite frequently, so I really like it. It's a very thick, somewhat squishy sticker, which is very cool. I might put this on my sewing machine or something like that, but altogether this is a really cool piece um, that I definitely see myself using because I am a big SAO fan. So the next item is a glasses cleaner and it has a really sexy rim on it. And honestly, again, I love Free Zero, so so far this box is a total hit for me. I think a lot of these boxes are getting better and better and sometimes they're a hit for me, sometimes it's not all the anime that I watch, so I'm a little bit more on the fence, but this one's definitely a hit for me um, between ReZero, SAO, and Legend of the Shield Hero. So this is a really cute uh, glasses cleaner, and I always misplace my glasses cleaners, and I've actually been needing one all week, so I'm super excited about this. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, it is very soft, kind of like that micro suede silky fabric. Uh, it does seem well printed, so I don't think you'll have any issues with anything scratching your glasses. It's very soft um, and overall extremely cute. So, last but not least is the figure, which has become the tradition um, of these videos to do last. And I am going to cheat sheet because a lot of this is in Japanese and um, my katakana skills are very rusty, so I'm not even going to attempt. Okay, so this is from uh, Bake Monogatari. And she's apparently a cute little vampire character. I am personally not familiar with the anime. As I drop the uh, box. <laughs> I am currently, like, I don't know this anime, but it's a really cute figure and I'm really excited to open it. So it is a really cute figure. Um, I'm super excited to open this. Uh, the box, let's see if I can get this to focus on the box to show you guys. Because the box art is super cute and I'm just going to dip out so it can focus. So we're back to really nice looking boxes because there for a while um, there's lots of typos and I was kind of like, mm. so the figures are really nice quality looking this time in the last few times. So I'm happy to see that that's an upwards trend. This is a very heavy figure. Um, I'm very excited to be opening it. Uh, so she's kind of in here like this. Um, here is the main part of the figure. Um, and then here's the whole ass couch. So this is the brunt of the weight, I think, that I was feeling. But nonetheless, like, for just being a base of the figure, it's pretty uh, well made, it feels like. Okay, so this feels like a really nice uh, heavy plastic. It's quilted with really nice details. Um, and it's funny, it has a actual skirt and butt print in it for where she will sit. So then she just sits like this. Uh, she has a really nice detail. She has an itty bitty fang, really nice eye painting. Her hair has two tone shading, which I always like to see. Um, her back details are really nice too. She has a bow, which is a uh, surprise since she's a seated figure. Um, I really enjoy how her uh, shoe is coming off on the one side. That's really neat. Um, however, on the other side, I think, is her shoe a separate piece that I missed? Oh, it is, it is. So on this side, her shoe actually um, comes off, it looks like, so you gotta snap that into her foot and make sure that you don't miss out on that. I would hate for you guys to um, throw the box away, because I could see myself doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop her foot right in there. I like how her shoes are coming off, though. I think that's really cute. Um, it's absolutely adorable. Overall, as I said, I think this might be my all-time favorite otaku box. Just the quality of the figure, the spread of the items fitting to my interests, both anime and type of object. Um, I'm really excited to see what comes in the next box now because this is an absolute hit for me and I'm in love with so many of the items in this box. Don't forget that if you would like an otaku box or otaku box mini, you can use my code, which I will put here in whichever box you choose. Um, I will be coming out with a awesome otaku box related announcement. so. If you would like to potentially get your hands on your own otaku box, 
stay tuned. I'm hoping to have that up shortly after this video goes up. I have already filmed it, I just have not had time to edit it, so you'll be getting this video before that one, most likely. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, leave me a comment, leave me random letters, whatever you would like to say. Uh, if there's anything you would like to see me film in the future, companies to work with, or content in general, please leave that below as well. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button down below and then the little notification bell in the corner and it will let you know every single time that I post a new video and you will get to see my lovely reviews every month. Thank you all again for watching. I know that I have a crazy backlog, but this month has been absolutely insane, so hopefully I'll have some new videos up for you to see. I hope you enjoyed this otaku box. I know I certainly did. I can't stress enough. Like, I am very excited about the items in this box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye! Just a little bit out of your price range, but you still want the uh, totally awesome monthly anime.